All right, listen, I think men get a bad rap when it comes to being romantic. Our culture paints them as like these Neanderthals that don't understand romance, or the only reason they are romantic is because they want sex at the end of it. So I'm here to stand up for the fellas. I'm here to set the record straight. And in this video, I'm gonna give you ladies three reasons that men may hesitate to bring out their inner romantic, and I'm gonna give you three ways that you can encourage them to step out of their closet romanticism and be the romantic that you really want. Before we jump in, if you've not downloaded your free guide to intimacy, hit the link in the description area below. This is gonna help you evaluate four areas of intimacy in your relationship, give you some practical ways to increase connection and intimacy. If you need a place to hang out with other couples and get resources and grow in your marriage on a regular basis, which you do need, whether you realize it or not, check out our Altered Marriage Membership community. It's gonna be a place where you can connect with other couples, get resources, strengthen your relationship. And if you've not already purchased Relation Shots, the book, I don't know what you're doing. You'll see a link below. You can grab that on Amazon. All right, let's talk romantic men. Ladies, if I were to tell you that your man, your husband, your boyfriend is probably a closet romantic, how many of you would roll your eyes? Right, but when surveyed, the majority of men, when asked if they had to plan an anniversary event, do they feel like they could do it, most of them were confident that they could pull it off. But many are not doing it. Why is it? Because they're not so confident that you would like and be pleased with the efforts they are putting in. And so instead of putting effort in, they hesitate to put the effort in. So what I wanna do, ladies, I'm gonna give you three reasons that a lot of men hesitate to bring out that inner romantic, and I'm gonna give you three ways that you can encourage your man to be real more romantic. So stick around for those. So number one, the first hesitation a lot of men have is just self-doubt. Because this may not come natural to them, they're not exactly sure that if they do it, will it come out the way that it's supposed to come out for their partner? And because if you've watched any of my other videos, you already know that a lot of men are performance-based, meaning they want to accomplish something, they want to be good at something, and they want to be affirmed for what they do. So if they're worried that that's not going to be the case, that's enough motivation right there to be like, I ain't even trying, right? Because I don't want to feel inadequate when I step up and try to be romantic with my partner. And again, if they're feeling inadequate in any other area of their life already, like if, if work is not going well, if parenting's not going well, they're already feeling inadequate somewhere else, uh, they're gonna be even a lot less motivated to try to make an effort because they don't know if this is gonna work and it's like, I already feel inadequate, I don't need to feel inadequate in another way. And so for a lot of men, they're not sure it's gonna work out quite right and for that reason, they're like, I ain't even trying. A second hesitation a lot of men have is just past failures, right? Because this may not come natural to them, that means they're gonna be more sensitive to your criticism and your teasing in this area. So man, if you have teased your man in any area, maybe the candlelight dinner didn't go quite like it was supposed to, maybe something else he planned turned out to be awkward rather than romantic, that's enough for him right there. That criticism, that teasing is enough for him to go, I never wanna experience that again. And because I don't wanna experience that again, I'm not gonna step into it. Maybe he's taken the time and effort to pick out a gift, he's talked to people, he's done research on it, he picks out what he believes the perfect gift, only to have his significant other say thank you and give a courtesy a hug and a kiss. And in his mind he goes, that's the last time I'm gonna put in that kind of effort uh, to try to present a gift that I think is romantic because they didn't even appreciate all the effort that went into it. A third area of hesitation is not just past failures, but a fear of future failures. So maybe he has planned something, it's went well before, and in his mind he's thinking, you know what, I killed it. I planned the perfect anniversary, it was over the top, it was awesome, and there is no way on earth that I can ever top that thing. So I am not gonna try to top that thing. So maybe ladies, if you've been thinking, I don't know what happened, like three years ago, he planned an amazing Valentine's or an amazing anniversary, and since then it's been like, eh, it's just not that good. 
<laughs> now, it may be a relational issue, uh, whereas the relationship's not in a good place, and so the effort and motivation is not there, but also it could be that he's thinking to himself, there is no way I can top that thing, so I'm not even going to try to get even in the ballpark with that thing. And so if that's the case, ladies, just remind him, you don't have to top that thing. The intentionality and the effort is the key, and that's what you ultimately appreciate, so you may need to remind him of that, because he may just not be trying to do anything romantic, because he's like, there is no way that I can top the last one. And so, listen, I'm not trying to fail in the future. Let me just enjoy the moment I had and stay where I'm at. So there's three reasons that your man may be hesitating to bring out his inner closet romantic. And if he is, here's some ways that you can encourage him to go ahead and start being a little more romantic. Number one is entice him. Listen, men are conquerors. They're pursuers. They love the pursuit. And oftentimes when they pursue and then they catch, the motivation goes down to continue to pursue. So how can you entice him uh, to keep things fresh again? Now, I'm not, I'm not suggesting that you play hard to get or you ignore him or you try to make him jealous. I'm saying make and keep the thing fresh. Maybe you do something new. Maybe you do something new with him. Maybe you go on a hike with him. Maybe you go exercise with him if he likes to do that. Maybe you go play golf with him. Uh, but you try to do some things to keep the relationship fresh again. Think back to early on in the dating process or if you're married when you were dating, what are the things that you did that caused him to want to pursue you? And maybe you can do those kind of things again. You want to entice him to pursue you again. Be the kind of friend and lover that he naturally wants to go and pursue. So entice him. Number two is tell him what you need. Listen, men are not mind readers. So if he is not sure of what you need, he's probably not going to go after it, right? Listen, if a man knows what the target is, he's going to have no problem firing at it. But if he thinks it's a moving target, he's going to be a little hesitant, a little gun shy, a little hesitant to pull the trigger on that thing. So some of you ladies, it feels like to the men, this is a moving target. Last time this was good enough and now that's not good enough anymore. And so I'm not really sure what to do. So listen, drop some hints, make it clear to him. What are the things that you like um, that feel romantic without making a mandate or demanding it? Drop some hints to let him know, tell him what you need, and he'll likely step into it. And number three is prioritize him. Listen, here's what often happens in marriage. We get married, we're priorities, kids come along, and oftentimes the husband takes a back seat to the kids, and I get it. There's some sense that they are fully uh, needing their parents and can't do anything. Or, oh, we got we got to put time into them. But it's easy to put so much time into our children, so much time into our careers and our calendar and everything else and family and friends that your husband may not feel like a priority anymore. And if he doesn't feel like a priority, his motivation to be romantic and do romantic gestures is going to be diminished if he doesn't feel like he's a priority. So what are those things? Can you make some time to prioritize him? Can you make some time to show him that you still value him? Because I believe if you can prioritize him and he feels like a priority, his motivation to be romantic and plan and do the things that you really desire and want in the relationship will be at an all-time high and he'll walk him out. So there's three hesitations that your man may be having why he's not unleashing his inner romantic and three ways that you can encourage him to step out and be more, more romantic. I'd love to hear your thoughts on those. Drop them in the comment section below. What have you found to be some of the keys to help draw out uh, the romance that you want from your husband? And again, if you've not already downloaded the free guide to intimacy, hit the description area below. If we can walk with you in any area of your relationship, we'd love to do that. Maybe it's an upcoming marriage class. Maybe it's a, a marriage retreat. Maybe it's counseling. We'd love to be a part of your relationship journey. Don't hesitate to let us know how we can walk with you. Until next time, we'll see you right back here on Relationships.